Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco to Shout Out Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here to uh, review South Park, Season 23, Episode 6, Season Finale. Yeah, uh, I guess it's a season finale for Tegrity Farms. I mean, we, we've, we've been having some weird titles with TV shows, like with The Walking Dead, having that episode be called What It Always Is, and then that other episode that was called Ghosts and everything. We've been having some weird titles, and it, it's, 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 a, uh, it's a fear, actually, in the back of my mind. It's like a secret fear of, like, What's going to happen when they run out of movie titles, TV titles, like, what are they going to do? Because there's only so many words, and, like, it, it, it really stresses me out to think about it. Like, to, and to think this had 23 seasons. Like, a lot of episodes, they try to compensate for not having to come up with titles by just having each episode be someone's name. Like, they'll have episodes of TV shows where someone dies, and they'll name that episode, uh, I don't know, Jason something, and then the episode will be all about them and how they die. <laughs> and I feel like we're, we're starting to get near that point of where we're going to run out of titles. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I barely have anything to say about this horrible episode. I mean, listen, I am not into politics the way that other people are because I think that it's unhealthy to constantly be thinking about politics all day and all night. I think it's sickening. I think that it it makes you uh, it makes you inhuman. It makes you uh, change into uh, something that you're not in terms of like, oh, this person is this type of a political person. I don't want to speak with him or her. I don't want to date this person because of, they're a part of this party. And, and so when TV shows insert politics into their things, it's, it's not only a reminder but it's also something that just tells me, oh, you're so you're you're so obsessed that you can't just leave this out of entertainment. That's why we watch TV and movies. We watch things to escape from politics and not think about real world issues. Sure, we think about re certain real world issues in terms of like very vague things or maybe adapting it to fit this world like in in the Mexican Joker episode even though I think that episode is starting to get worse and worse as time goes on I think that it was good because it it wasn't trying to sh to do a political message it was trying to use a political event or a political, I don't know what you call it. I mean, it's been happening for years and years and years. <laughs> but that's a different issue. But they adapted it to fit South Park. They didn't adapt South Park to fit the p politics, if that makes any sense. Like, it, it's, it's hard to, to talk about this stuff without sounding like I'm siding with one side or the other. But in the first episode, it's all about these characters being put into this political situation and how like they would respond and how it would really change to fit South Park instead of if it was just anywhere else the way that you have Cartman and Kyle's feud and how Cartman is really racist and how uh, Kyle is a Jew and so him being in in this uh, place reminds him of the Holocaust and, and so, like, it's different. But with this episode, and see, I've, I've already spent five minutes, I just wanted to spend one, one minute talking about this shitty episode. I give this episode an F. 
I couldn't even finish the whole thing. I mean, I sat there and I let it play in the background while I did important things with my life. But this episode just couldn't hold my attention enough to make me care to finish it. And that's the worst kind of TV or movies when you don't want to finish something. Like, even with bad movies, like the movie Tusk that I saw this year, it was really bad. But I still stuck through the whole movie. Toy Story 4. Uh, ugh. I can't wait to rant about that feminist propaganda. <laughs> because, uh, but I still, I sat through the whole damn thing. With this 20 minute South Park episode, I could barely get through 10 minutes. There's so much political pandering in this episode. So much political one-sidedness. This episode reminds me of, like, in Better Call Saul, Season 4, how they decided to, like, have the interns write and direct episodes and, and just let them do whatever they want, and how they drastically changed the show. They made Kim into, like, this evil female version of Chuck, and they did all sorts of weird, out-of-left-field things. And this is what it feels like in this episode. It feels like the South Park uh, duo, like they had an intern and the intern like snuck in the building and decided to do this episode because they're a, cra they're a crazy far left political person. And I'm not saying like far left as in I'm a right wing person. I'm just saying... Like, it could have been a far-right episode. I would have said the same thing. But it just really seems like this whole episode is just political propaganda. And it seems like the writers, they need to, uh... They, they need to grow up and they need to, you know, not write episodes where it's, it's all about... It, it's like an SNL thing. If, I mean, with SNL, I would expect this type of disgusting drivel from SNL, but I wouldn't expect this from South Park. I mean, you'd think that I'd be embarrassed to review The Walking Dead because no one's watching it anymore and because it's at season 10, yet it feels like it it's still like in season 1 because they don't have any development, they don't have any plot points where they're going, they don't have any destination for a finale. But actually, I'm more embarrassed to be reviewing South Park because this is just embarrassing and pointless and stupid. And it really pisses me off to think about the fact that this episode could have been a good episode with a non-political story. It could have been a good episode if it had just focused on South Park instead of trying to make everything political. And, again, I talked earlier in the season about The Godfather and how I really disliked the fact that they stopped parodying The Godfather and they stopped drawing comparisons and having Randy be like this Godfather figure. Imagine how cool it would have been if they had stuck to that Godfather theme instead of stuck to this awful political shit. Because... This isn't the first time South Park has, has has done this. I mean, they never used to do this. I mean, really. They never used to do this type of political crap. I mean, they they did a the great uh Al Gore episode, but no one takes that seriously. It's 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 comedy. It's it's parody. It's not something that feels like they're shouting in your face about their stupid opinions. Uh, with that Man Bear Pig episode. That Man Bear Pig episode felt like a rightful parody. It felt like something that was creative and funny and, and cool. But with this, this just feels... Ugh. Same thing happened a couple of seasons ago. When they tried to do this season-long story thing. This one story. They did that whole season about Hillary versus Trump in the 2016 election and they were expecting their their bitch to win and when the bitch didn't win 
they had to change and rewrite and redo the entire season finale because they didn't get what they wanted and because they didn't get what they expected people to do in real life which once again has nothing to do with the show why do people voting for someone why does that person have anything any relevance to this show this is a fictional show this whole season has been about a fictional marijuana farm which apparently I guess I don't know what happened at the end but it said season finale so I guess they're gonna move back to South Park or something I don't know <laughs> I don't even care this episode made me not even want to watch the rest of the season I give this episode the strongest F as in the strongest fuck you I can think of because this episode probably is the worst TV episode I've seen the whole year and I watched Hell's Kitchen I watched MasterChef Junior I watched MasterChef season 20 where they uh, removed a contestant from the finale because they decided to throw in a twist where uh, if the first two dishes aren't good enough, then you're not allowed to make her dessert. Those fucking piece of shit Master Chef judges. Ugh. Ugh. I, I, I'm glad we don't do videos on them because they'd be pissed at the way that I would talk about them and their pretentious season 20. Or, I mean, season 10 where they're like, it's season 10, it's season 10. Even with all that crap. This episode of South Park is the worst that I've seen the whole year. So if if you if you like this episode, then that's fine. I'm not going to fault you for liking a shitty episode of television. I mean, my favorite episode of the Andy Griffith Show is an episode in Season 7 all about Andy having to go around eating tons of meals of spaghetti. And no one else in the world sees that episode as being any any uh, good. But I do. So I don't care if you like it. But personally, I think this episode sucks balls. And, and so, yeah. That's my opinion. And I don't care. But I do care if, if you'd like to check out all my other videos on South Park. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel after hearing me just tear this stupid episode apart. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I guess that I could see this episode as a good thing because it makes me glad that I'm not going to have to waste my time next year reviewing South Park Season 24 because it's going to be on a streaming service that I'm not going to uh, waste money on. So anyways, goodbye everybody!